So when I think about tolerance, I think about one story. It's kind of long, but we're going to get through it, okay? The name of the story is called Sneetches and Other Stories. We're not going to read the other stories, but we are going to read Sneetches, okay? Now, notice in these Sneetches, he has a star on his belly. So does he. And how do they think, how, do they look confident? They feel good about themselves? They have a good self-esteem? Well, does it matter what kind of clothes you're wearing? What kind of haircut you have? Feeling good has to do with how you feel on the inside, okay? So these stars, we're gonna talk about stars and how that makes people feel and what people think about them. Oh, playing some ball. Sneetches. Oh wow, they don't look like they're very happy at all. Now, the star belly sneetches had bellies with stars. The plain belly sneetches had none upon thars. Those stars weren't so big, they were really so small. You might think such a star wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star belly sneetches would brag. We're the best kind of sneetches on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they would snort. Will have nothing to do with that plain belly sort. And whenever they meet someone, whenever, when they were out walking, that hide right, that hike right past on, that hike right on past them without even talking. When the star belly children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. Could you could you only could play if your bellies had stars and the plain belly children had none upon theirs. Well, they're having lots of fun playing with the ball, but how do they feel? It's never a nice thing to leave someone out of a game. You always want to include everyone. Oh, it looks like they're having some type of cookout barbecue. When the star belly sneeches had frankfurter roasts or picnics, or parties, or marshmallow toasts. They never invited the plain belly sneetches. They left them out cold in the dark on the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near. And that's how they treated them year after year. Is that fair? No, no one's thinking about how those sneetches without the, the, the plain bellies feel. Just because they don't have stars, they shouldn't be treated differently. Then one day, it seems, while the plain belly sneeches were mopping and dop doping along on the beaches, just sitting there wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger zipped up in the strangest of cars. My friends, he announced with a voice clear and keen. My name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean. And I've heard of your troubles. I've heard of your unhappy. But I can fix that. I'm the fix up, fix it up chappy. I've come here to help you, and I have what you need. And my prices are low, and I work at great speed. And my work is 100% guaranteed. Whoa, look at that big machine he has. Then quickly, Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a peculiar machine. And he said, you want stars like the star belly sneech, my friends, you can have them for $3 each. So they can pay money to get the star put on. Just pay me your money and hop right aboard. So they clamored inside. Then the big machine roared and it clunked and it bonked and it jerked and it burked and it bopped about them about. But the thing really worked. When the plain belly sneetches popped out, they had stars. They actually did. They had stars upon theirs. Then they yelled at the ones who had stars at the start. We're exactly like you. You can't tell us apart. We're all just the same now, you snooty old smarties. Now we can go to your hot dog parties. Good grief, groaned the ones who had stars at the first. We're still the best sneetches, and they are the worst. Is that nice to talk about yourself as being better than someone else? No, we are all in this world together, and everyone should be treated the same.
not differently. And we talked a lot about that during um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he, he felt that way as well. And that's a really important thing that we all feel the same way. And just treat everyone with respect and uh, common decency. We're still the best teachers and you are the worst. But now, how in the world will we know? They all frowned. If which kind is what or the other way around? Then up came McBean with a very sly wink and he said, things are not quite as bad as you think. So you don't know who's who, that's perfectly true. But come with me, friends, do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best sneeches on beaches. Then all it will cost you is ten dollars eaches. So he's charging more money for the stars to be taken off. They're trying to be different. Belly stars are no longer in style, said Mr. McBean. What you need is a trip through my star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars so you won't look like sneeches who have them on theirs. And that handy machine working very precisely removed all the stars from their tummies quite nicely. Then with snoots in the air, they paraded about and opened their beaks and they let out a shout. We know who is who, now there isn't a doubt. The best kind of sneeches are sneeches without. Then of course, those with stars all got frighteningly mad. To be wearing a star now was frightfully bad. Then of course, old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into his star off machine then of course from then on as you probably guess things got into a horrible mess should you do something just because someone else does it should you want something just because someone else has it well that's following you should want to be a leader all the rest of the day on those wild screaming beaches. The fix it up chappy kept fixing up sneeches off again, on again, in again, out again, through the, the, through the machines. They raced round and around again, changing their stars every minute or two. They kept paying money, they kept running through until neither the plane nor the star bellies knew whether this one was that one or one was this one or which one was that one or what one was who, they couldn't tell each other apart. Then, when every last cent of their money was spent, the fix it up chap, he packed up and he went, oh my goodness, look at all the money he collected from them. And all of them looked sad. As he laughed, as he drove in his car up the beach, they will never learn, you can't teach a sneech. Mr. McBean got, was quite wrong. I'm quite happy to say that the Sneetches really, really quite smart on that day. The day they decided that Sneetches are Sneetches and no kind of Sneetches, the best kind on the beaches. That day, all the Sneetches forgot about stars and whether they had one or not upon theirs. Look at the, the star bellies playing with the plain belly. It doesn't matter. If they're nice to each other and kind to each other and treat each other with respect, then everyone can be friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Uh, I'm also putting one of my favorite cartoons called The Sneetches. So after you uh, listen to the story, if you'd like to, you can watch the cartoon. Uh, maybe get a little more understanding about it and have a little more ownership, but uh, one of my favorite stories. Um, what makes them special is who they are inside. Um, it has nothing to do with having stuff on the outside, long red hair. I think if, if, if I thought I was going to be really cool with a big, big red beard, it's not what it's about. I feel good about myself. I feel good about who I am. I feel good about being kind to other people. And um, the love I have in my heart, I try to share with everybody else. Come on, everybody. Everybody out there, make somebody else's heart sing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this bedtime story. Have a good night. Adios.